What's up YouTube? In today's video, we'll be tackling the coolant system on the TDI Ford Ranger. Let's get to it. Okay, to get started on the coolant system, uh, I know some people swap uh, or they flip the housing that's on the back of the TDI so that the uh, the coolant hose that goes to the radiator will come straight through here. But uh, I mean, I have all my heater core stuff for the AC is right here. So I was just gonna, you know, just uh, keep it on this side and run it straight up to right here. So that means that we'll have to come to this side and we'll have to route it all the way around and kind of make kind of like an S uh, so that comes into this far side over here and then the other one is right here behind the alternator and then that one's gonna kind of come out uh, go out like a 90 kind of down and come like through here uh, to get to this one way down here uh, I mean all these hoses are are loose this is the power steering this is power steering and then this is brake uh, I have to kind of find a way to mount this one so that it's not rubbing on my power steering pump so I'll probably tackle that too but uh, that's the plan start getting some tube in here and start mocking it up and getting it built
Okay, so I went ahead and tacked it all together too. Uh, so right here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a silicone 90. I wanted to keep these two pieces, two separate pieces uh, for ease of getting it in and out. Then I kind of did the same thing right here as I put a, I split it up uh, just for ease of getting it in and out. Then down there, uh, connecting this one to the radiator, I will also put a uh, silicone 90. Then this brake line, uh, I'll just mount it right here to the frame. I'll use uh, a hose clamp or something to keep it right there. But next we're gonna move on to the, uh, the oil cooler and then the, uh, and the heater core over on the other side. Okay, for the heater core and the uh, oil cooler, I wasn't able to find any hoses that really had the bends that I wanted at uh, AutoZone or O'Reilly's. I made uh, these out of just some welding wire. Uh, it's got pretty much the bends that I want for uh, the tube. So I'll go ahead and use these as templates. And then for the, uh, for the oil cooler, I thought that uh, it was like 9 16 when I measured it. So I got half thinking that I could just stretch it, but uh, turns out that it's actually like a, like a five eighths. So uh, I'll end up going back and get a more five eighths tube uh, to get that done. Okay, I just finished up the heater core. Uh, I put the uh, exhaust uh, pipe, just this one on, so that I could uh, make sure I had enough clearance right there. But uh, yeah, so I put like a 90 right here, and that's uh, three quarters coming out of the TDI engine. And then it's 90 coming right here. And this is where I went from uh, three quarters to a five eighths. And then uh, I kind of I put like a little 90 right here. It wasn't like super tight, but uh, it, it turned out pretty good. Uh, it routed real nice. That's, that's the that's the one. And then the other one, I put two 90s. I put a 90 right here, and then another one right here, so that I could get it uh, going back. And then uh, it turns into three quarter again. And then a 90s in. And then the other one is. Like right, right there. Uh, I wasn't able to get that one off, so I just cut it. And then once I pull the engine out, I'll I'll pull the uh, the hose clamp off that I couldn't get off. It's just it's on the on that back side, so I I couldn't get anything in there to get it off. But uh, it all should uh, line up exactly how I want it. And then for for the oil cooler, those are down here. Um, I'm contemplating on uh, TDI conversions has a uh, like an oil filter relocation kit, so I'm contemplating doing that and maybe doing a uh, oil cooler, but uh, I'll kind of explore that idea a little bit more. So I'm gonna hold off on doing this side, but I also got the uh, the brake booster line in, so it connects to the brake booster right here. And then it comes all the way across. Then over here, you got the uh, the vacuum pump in the back right there. I can't really see it, but yeah, it's right there on the back of the engine. And then here is where it comes out. And this 90 was already on from the TDI. So I was able to use that. And then there's this uh, check valve uh, to make sure the air is going the right way. And I kept that all 
and then just added that hose to go over to the brake booster to get that to work and then this is for uh the turbo uh, that'll uh a little line will come down here to the uh variable speed but that's as far as i've gotten so far okay i'm back working on the uh the coolant hoses and i just got these uh two 90s in the silicone 90s so i'm gonna go ahead and set them in and uh I uh, cut them down to where I want them. Uh, I already made the mark for the one, so I'll cut it there, then get it uh, uh, plugged into the uh, radiator, and then see where I want the mark to be on the top. And then I'll go ahead and put the, uh, the other one that goes uh, to back there in, and then I'll put the uh, 90 in that goes right about right here. Okay, we got that bottom uh, silicone 90 cut down. Cut it down probably an inch this way, and then maybe half an inch right here. And then up here, uh, I didn't cut this one down. All I did is uh, I had uh, I left both of these a little long, so they were this one was coming about to about right there, and then this one was coming about right here. Uh, so I just cut these back uh, a few inches, and then just slipped the that silicone 90 on and. Turned out really nice. See so going all the way back, then up to the radiator. And I'm really pleased with how it came out. And yeah. All right, I just finished up the hoses for the oil cooler. Uh, this one, I put kind of like a 180 into it. Uh, kind of the same, I did that the same way that I did these heater cores with the, uh, putting that uh, like coil inside of it. And then this one I was able to just make work as just a straight piece and uh, just kind of routed it around and kept it a little bit longer. So that's why it has that real big sweep in it. But that'll work. Uh, like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna go with a different setup. So this is just kind of for now to get it going and get it running and stuff. But uh, I also got the, uh, the bung for the port that's on top of the, the head that's on the other side. So I'll go ahead and uh, I'll throw this back in and kind of decide where I want it at. And then we'll go ahead and drill this and install that bung. Right, let's uh, knock that out real quick. Okay, we got that bung just tacked on here and then the bar of nipple on it. So what I want to do is I just want to use the, uh, the stock one that was in here. Uh, it has a T right here. And then this one came and uh, it attached to the uh, the little uh, like overflow, uh, coolant overflow. So I'll go ahead and I'll cut it right here and then I'll just put a, a straight fitting in or I could have blocked this one off. But I think it's going to look cleaner with just a straight fitting. So I'll order that and then I'll end up uh, cutting this down a little bit. All right, I just wanted to cut in real quick and add a little bit more information. So from the research that I've done, uh, there's two ways that you could go about this is you can use the original reservoir from the TDI Jetta and uh, connect that same holes to that uh, reservoir. And the reason that you have to do that is because the whole system on the TDI is all pressurized and that little reservoir is pressurized too. Or you could go and do it the way I'm doing it, is you can add it to the cooling system uh, by adding it to one of the hoses or something. And that should uh, keep it all pressurized and it should uh, purge it, uh, purge all the air out of it because uh, where that hose is coming out of, it's the highest point on the engine. So it's, I th I'm pretty sure uh, it's a way for it to purge all of that uh, air out of the system. Uh, we'll see if I have any problems with it when I get to adding coolant and stuff like that to it, but uh, I guess we'll see when we cross that road. I'll probably cut it probably about right here so that uh, I'll be able to keep this and then if I ever needed uh, to get a new one then I have the part numbers for all that stuff as well. So let's get these cut and uh, get it all fitted in here. Okay, we just finished up with the, 
the last little bit of the coolant system, I went ahead and cut that down. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to uh, the power steering reservoir. I'm going to go ahead and make one out of uh, aluminum. Uh, this is a three inch uh, pipe. And I was looking in here trying to find a good spot uh, to put it. And this is kind of the best spot that I found. It's kind of out of the way. So I just cut a little piece uh, about four inches. And I'll go ahead and make a bracket so that it attaches uh, right here. And then we'll go ahead and make a top and a bottom and uh, get some bungs welded on so that we could connect it to the power steering down there. Let's get started on it. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, we got all the coolant piping done. And then we built this uh, power steering reservoir. I haven't put any of the hoses on yet. Uh, I still gotta take the engine out and I'll just go ahead and do all that once uh, it's all finalized. But we got that. Then we got the coolant uh, cooler hoses in down there. And then also the, we got the heater core hoses in going in back there. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, go ahead and throw them down in the comments as well. And I'll help you out uh, with whatever I can. I'm doing a whole YouTube series on my TDI Swap Ranger. So check out some of those other videos. But that's going to be it for this video. Uh, next video will be the fuel system. So I'll see you on that.